What's up everybody and welcome to a special video today where we're gonna determine your fitness IQ. The rules are super simple, I'm gonna read out a question and you have three options, A, B or C and one of them is correct and you have exactly 8 seconds to find out which one. Let's see how many points you will get. Short disclaimer, of course this test does not really represent how much you know about sports. But still I'm interested which of these things you will know. And when we are done, write down your results in the comments below. Alright, question number one. The pain you feel in your muscles during a workout is due to A. Micro damages in the muscle fibers B. Lactic acid which accumulates in your muscles or C. Too much blood circulation And the correct answer is B. Of course, during a workout we damage our muscle fibers, that's at the end of the day how they grow. And these micro damages lead to soreness or delayed onset muscle soreness. But this doesn't cause the pain. During a workout your muscle cells often switch to anaerobic energy production, which is basically glycolysis. The end product of glycolysis is lactate or lactic acid and this lactic acid leads to an increase of the pH level in our muscle cells, which in turn leads to pain. And this activates the nervous system and so on, but let's do not get deeper into that. Next question, this is a rather easy one. So, which macros have the highest amount of energy? A. Proteins, B. Carbs or C. Fats? And the answer is fats. And if your fat levels are covered, you can go the longest without craving food or calories. Regarding proteins, even though they are extremely important to build up muscle mass, they do not provide so much energy per se. Third question. How is the body mass index or BMI calculated? A. Height divided by weight times H or B. Weight divided by height or C. Height times weight divided by H. The correct answer is B. The BMI has nothing to do with the H. I just did it to confuse you. I hope I succeeded. All right, now a stretching question. Let's see if you stretch regularly. So, static stretching should be performed A, before a workout, B, during a workout, or C, after a workout. And the correct answer is C. Static stretching should be performed preferably after the workout, while dynamic stretching should be performed before. Why? Because with dynamic stretching you move and warm up at the same time, that is beneficial for your blood circulation and reduces the risk for injuries. In static stretching you do not move your muscles, you only stretch them. And if you stretch a cold muscle, the risk for injuries just increases. That's why you should definitely avoid that. And during a workout, it's also not ideal because what happens, we usually contract the muscles and if you stretch them, you do the opposite. If you want to learn more about that, check out this video. All right, let's move on to the fifth question. I have to admit, this is really a tough one. So, which hormones control your appetite and hunger and therefore your calorie intake? A. Ghrelin and leptin B. IGF-1 and melatonin or C. Serotonin and apatin And the correct answer is A. Ghrelin and leptin IGF-1 has an important role in muscle growth, while melatonin is important for your sleep. Serotonin is kind of the happy hormone, while apatin doesn't exist. Many people who are obese develop a resistance or overproduction of the hormones ghrelin and leptin, why they sometimes do not really feel when they are full. So they continue eating and the result is obvious. 
Both hormones should be in a balance and you can achieve that the best with a healthy lifestyle. All right, next question. Which of these activities burns the most calories in 30 minutes? A. Jogging with regular speed. B. Driving a bicycle, regular speed and on a straight track. Or C. Swimming, also regular speed. So let's resolve it. With driving bicycle, you burn around 250 calories, with swimming around 320 calories, all on average, but with jogging, you spend up to 600 calories for 30 minutes. This was also pretty surprising to me and to be honest, I would have picked swimming. But if you think about it, it makes sense. With driving bicycle on normal speed, your upper body is more or less relaxed while the main work happens in your legs. While swimming, you also do not move too fast, as I said, with normal speed. But when we are jogging, the whole body works, upper body as well as lower body. Of course, the speed plays a crucial role here and obviously, the faster you're running, the more calories you will burn. I hope it's going well for you, but let's move on to the next question. What is anabolism? Does it A. Describe the production of energy in the cell? Or B. Does it describe the buildup of muscle and tissue in general? Or is it C. The side effect of too many anabolic steroids? Correct answer is B. Anabolism describes the buildup of tissue, while catabolism describes the breakdown of tissue and the production of energy. And to build up muscle and tissue, we obviously need energy. Alright guys, three questions left. <clears throat> Which type of contraction especially leads to soreness, also called delayed onset muscle soreness? Is it A the eccentric contraction, or B, the concentric one, or C, the isometric one. And the correct answer is A, eccentric contractions. Eccentric contractions describe the lengthening of the muscle and these are especially important and responsible for soreness. This is actually the reason why it is so important to do negatives, for example, when you're doing push-ups or when you're doing pull-ups. The physiology behind it is a bit more complicated, so let's don't go deeper into that. I actually made a video about that, have a look if you have time. Second last question. Which of these three macronutrient ratios is to be preferred if you want to lose weight? The answer is again A. In order to lose weight, you must be first of all in a calorie deficit and secondly, you must reduce your carbohydrate intake. Interesting actually, you should not reduce your fat intake because fat, especially, I mean, the good fat, there are many types of fat, play a crucial and very important role for your metabolism and it can even help you in burning fat. Reducing carbs also plays a role on hormones such as insulin, for example, which also play a crucial role when you want to lose weight. And now we come to the last question, or maybe not. Creatine is one of the most common supplements in the sports industry. But what does it actually do? Does it A. Fill up the energy reservoirs in your muscle cells? B. Build up muscle mass due to its higher concentration of amino acids? Or C. Lead to a better distribution of micronutrients? And the correct answer is A. This is why you will never ever build up any muscle if you take creatine but you do not train. The form of energy in our body is called ATP and creatine or to be more specific phosphocreatine plays a role in recycling this ATP. So you will feel more energy during your workout, 
which indirectly leads to more muscle mass. You thought we are done, but you are wrong, my friend. I got a bonus question for you. With this one, you get the chance for one additional point. Are you ready? Then have a look on the picture on the right side. For most of the time, we talk about the same muscle groups, right? The biceps, triceps, deltoids, chest, etc. But do you even know one muscle in your forearm? Let's find it out. Now tell me, how is this muscle here called? Is it A. Brachialis, B. Gluteus maximus, or C. Brachioradialis? And the correct answer is Brachioradialis. The Brachialis actually lies under the biceps and with training him, your biceps kind of pops out more. And regarding the gluteus maximus, you might right now sit on him. Now the moment of truth has come, how many points did you make? Have a look on this table here and write down in the comments who of them you are. If you didn't get the points you actually expected, no worries, there is always potential to grow. Alright guys, I really hope it was fun and also that you learned some new things today. And if yes, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day, take care and see you in the next video.